Hello, YouTube. It's been a while. Um, a lot of stuff's been going on lately. Um, been out doing things and having a life. Last night went out to Golden Corral. Um, just been doing other stuff. But I'm sitting here with that, um, that white bit pipe that I got. With some of that vanilla vanilla. I'm grown to it. I really am. But anyway, on the list of things I've been doing, one of the biggest things I've been doing is if you read this book, No Easy Day, it's by Mark Owen. It's a Navy SEAL. I don't know if he is or was, but um, he was in the, the mission against Osama bin Laden. You know, take them out and all that good stuff. And this book is actually about that mission. So all you guys that have been, you know, wanting to see or have seen Zero Dark Thirty. This is basically the book version. I mean, a lot of it is um, personal stories of other missions. They're all very, you know... Um, very good. I've gotten pretty far in it. I'm not going to give any way major details because if you guys are looking into this book, um, you know, I don't want to ruin it for you. But it's a very good book. I normally don't read books. And I sit down and I was actually really into that book. It's really hard to do a video when a commercial is going on Pandora. But I would recommend it to anybody. If they're into like combat books, you know, this is the book. Especially modern day combat. I mean, it goes over his training, personal stories to like one him and his uh, one group were just doing training things in this abandoned hotel, and they found this big, <laughs> this big black dildo, and you know they've just been pulling pranks on each other with it. It, it. It's a good book. I cannot stress it enough. And that's coming from a kid that does not like to read books at all. Begin really into it lately because you know I, I've had it for a while. Then I just kind of put it down for a bit. Then you know before you know I put it down, I offered well I gave the idea to my lib the guy that runs the library at my school to get that book. Well, he did. So it's on one of the, on his shelf of recent books. So I just started reading it, you know, because I was at school and I have two study halls in a row now. So I figured, why not just sit down and start reading it. I'm going to find a page I left off on and start reading it. Yeah, I didn't realize how close I was to the actual Osama Bin Laden, you know, um, part of the book. Because at the beginning, it, it gets you with the hook of when... You know, if you ever watch the news around when it happened, one of the helicopters crashed, and he was in that helicopter. And it just starts off like that, and it just, he says, and it crashed. Then it starts the next chapter, and it starts, like, doing some of his life story, along with a couple of his missions. Then later on in the book, they get back to that, um, that mission. 
But yeah, it's it's really good. And he's not one of those guys, you know, that was, you know, in since the whole place was really a compound, there was more than one building. He wasn't in another building, and you know, heard over the radio that Osama bin Laden's been shot. I will give away a little bit of the big information. He was like the third guy in the line, you know, one, two, three, going up the stairs to the top floor. The first guy obviously shot Osama. Then he was there. I mean, he was right there. But the whole story leaning up, you know, it's just awesome. And he's got pictures of his gear. It doesn't have a picture of him, which is a smart move, by the way. Because, you know, he's, especially when he's putting his name out there like that. I don't know if it's real name, but still. Um, he's got a picture of his gear, his uh, helmet, his the four lens um, um, night vision goggles. He said the two lens that only give you like a 40 degree field of view. These have four, and it has a 120 degree. And then there's like pictures of some of the places that he was in. No, no like bloody gory pictures, unfortunately. Cause that'd be cool. But I'm twisting, I'm twisted like that. Oh, you know, it'd be awesome to find a picture of Osama bin Laden with his head blown off in, in that book. But unfortunately, it's not. And um, it's awesome. I know it's such a childish word, awesome, but it's 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 awesome. <laughs> Other things I've been doing. Um, what else have I been doing? So much stuff I don't know how to start. Well, today up at Tech, I did a project of sorts for the principal. Well, the principal kind of director of Votech, because it's not exactly a school, it's more of a. I don't know what to call it. I don't know. But anyway. He came down. He didn't directly ask me to do it, but my teacher asked me to do it. I had to write up the uh, design on the computer for the plasma cutter. We have like a, a robotic plasma cutter. It just goes over and cuts everything out. It's pretty awesome. And pretty much he gave me a piece of cardboard where he like stuck over the part that he wanted and basically outlined it. No measurements on it whatsoever. Other than he, you know, kind of measured one of the holes with a peg of some sort. It was a three eighths peg, so we knew it had to be a three eighths hole. Actually, it had to be a little bit smaller to be thinking of it because of three eighths peg. Well, anyway, the whole ought to be three eighths, and they're not three eighths. Three eighths? Yeah, three eighths. So he just handed me this piece of cardboard and says, "I need you to find measuring tape, measure everything out. If it's a fraction, you have to convert it to a decimal, which it really isn't that hard." But you have to do all this, put it on the computer, make so many of them, then cut them out. So, 
most of my day consisted of pretty much writing a, almost like a program for this to be cut out. I think you need like four or five of them. Still. Drop my box of matches. I've been dress shopping. That was fun. Did I tell you, tell you I went dress shopping? Prom dress. That was fun. Ish. Um. I know stuff's been happening, but you know, you just don't think about it, and it just slips from your mind. I can't remember all the stuff that I've been doing lately. What I have been doing is neglecting you guys. So I decided to make a video tonight. Because I missed you. In all your pretty faces that I haven't seen yet. The main part is I'm sitting here relaxing my pipe and just having a good old time. And Sunday, I do believe, I have to run down to Cranberry for one of my cousin's birthdays. Cranberry's kind of north of Pittsburgh. While the Penguin game is playing, it, did you see the last Penguin game? I don't know if there's one today. I think there is one today. But the day before yesterday. Oh my gosh. Was it the day before yesterday? Yeah, it was the day before yesterday. The Penguins got their butts handed to them one to four by the New York Islanders. <sighs> Man. Disappointed. Blech. That was a nasty taste. I don't know why, but this bit doesn't uh, it just tastes nasty. I know you're not supposed to be tasting the bit, you're supposed to be tasting the tobacco, but every once in a while my tongue will touch it or something. And it's just unpleasant. <sighs> Maybe one of these days I'll sit back and you know look through the help wanted pages of the newspaper and find a job so I can get a decent pipe. And maybe it won't have that taste. What I would really like to have is one of those Savinelli emeralds. They're like green, they have, I think they're like little diamond studs. They're not real diamonds, or they'd be more than $60, $70. But they're just so beautiful. I want one. I really like that Peterson. Let's sit down and just go shopping one of these days. Or maybe I'll just get a mirror shop. I don't know. But I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this pipe. And i got to end this video. Unfortunately.
Maybe I'll make one tomorrow. See you guys later. God bless, and have a good day.